Hey, Big Brain Gamer. Today's tutorial is going to be about- Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a Musty Flick tutorial, not one of Musty's tutorials. Oh, my bad, bro. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Today, we're gonna to be talking about the musty flick. So to put it simply, a musty flick is when you use a backflip to pull your car forward into a flick. Most of you likely already know why it's called a musty flick, but for those of you who don't, the YouTuber a musty cow posted this flick on Reddit back in 2016, and nobody had ever done it before. When people were asking what the name of the mechanic was, he jokingly called it the musty flick, and it just stuck. Fast forward to today, and we've seen the Musty Flick evolve in ways that I don't think any of us could have predicted. And we even see it being used in the RLCS, which is the highest level of competitive play that anybody can partake in. So I'm going to be breaking down how you can use what started as this crazy free play mechanic posted on Reddit to take some of the nastiest shots that you'll ever score in Rocket League. So let's get started. We can break a Musty Flick down into four simple parts. The dribble the jump, the tilt, and the flick. Now just like every other mechanic, the most important part is the setup. You want to make sure that you can dribble the ball on the front end of your car to set yourself up for the musty flick. The reason we're putting the ball on the front end of our car is because when it comes time to use the flick, we want the ball to be far enough away from the car that the tail doesn't hit it and ruin our flick. To practice this, just try keeping the ball on the front end of your car and driving around in free play. Do this enough to where you can keep your speed up high and the ball doesn't fall off the front of you. When you can do that, you can hold the ball in the right place to start your musty flick. This part's pretty easy and self-explanatory. You want to jump. But you do want to jump correctly. You want to make sure that the ball is fully settled on your car before you jump. To do this, you want to make sure that you're moving the same speed as the ball. That way when you jump, it doesn't throw the ball off you. Now for the hardest part, the tilt. The reason this is the hardest part is because there's a lot of room to mess this up. There are two different ways that you can tilt to set up your musty flick. You can tilt forward or you can tilt backwards. The original Musty Flick was done by tilting forward, but I've personally found it easier to learn by tilting backwards, and I use the backwards tilt Musty Flick a lot more often. Now the reason we're tilting is to put our car in the correct position to backflip forward. I know backflipping forward is kind of an oxymoron, but the reason this works is because when your nose tilts past the 90 degree mark perpendicular to the ground, a backflip is going to generate forward momentum because of the way that your car is facing. So we want to make sure that we're tilting at least past that 90 degree mark, otherwise our backflip is just going to hold us in place and we're not going to get any kind of flick. And the reason this part is so tricky is because it's really easy to mess up how much you tilt. Sometimes you tilt too far or sometimes you don't tilt enough. I found the sweet spot to be this position which is kind of like you pointing your nose at the ball but your tail instead. And this is why I find the back tilt musty flick easier because on your way back, you can kind of gauge the angle that your nose points at the ball, and it gives you a visual understanding of how your tail should be pointing at the ball before you use your flick. You'll notice that in this position, there's a little bit of distance between the ball and my car's tail, because when we do our backflip, we don't want our tail to touch the ball and move it out of position, otherwise our flick is gonna miss on the way up. Now, once you've gotten yourself to this position, all that's left to do is the flick. Just do a backflip. If you followed all the previous steps properly, then the ball should roll along the top of your car until it gets to your nose, where your nose flicks it off with a ton of power. And that's a musty flick. Now that you understand how to do a musty flick, you can start getting really creative in the ways that you get to this position. As long as you get yourself into this position, you can do a musty flick. You can do this off the walls, off the ceiling, you can do this from a flip reset. You can really musty flick from anywhere as long as you get yourself to this position and you still have your flip available. So with all that being said, I hope you understand this mechanic a little bit better and this helps you practice and learn how to do a musty flick. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you at all, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on so you get notified when I upload my next video. I also stream on Twitch every Saturday at 4 p.m. EST, so make sure you're following me over there so that you can see when I go live and you can come ask me some questions in chat. But most importantly, thanks for watching.